Hi folks, and welcome to another episode of my quick, simple meals at home. Just upscale the ingredients for two or three people. You will need only what you see on the screen for this recipe. The UK version of the Ninja Wood Fire Grill does not have a cold smoking function because cold smoking is not very popular among UK consumers. So, what is cold smoking? Cold smoking is preserving food by exposing it to smoke at low temperatures, usually below 30 Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Ninja has decided that their wood fire grill in the UK cannot function at such low temperatures, but we can cold smoke with a bit of creative thinking, and this video will show you how it's done. You can follow these simple steps if you want to smoke cheese with the Ninja wood fire. First, prepare a silicone sheet or a similar material to protect the griddle from the metal rack. Second, find a suitable rack to place the cheese on while it is smoking. Third, turn on the Ninja wood fire and select the smoke setting. Ensure the temperature is at the lowest level, 120 Celsius. Fourth, press the start button and wait about 10 minutes until the progress bar has finished, and you see the smoke coming from the device. Finally, turn off the function control and add the cheese. Make sure the grill has not increased in temperature. It should still be cold to the touch. You can use a thermometer to measure the temperature. It's around 72 degrees Fahrenheit or 23 degrees Celsius, the same as the ambient air temperature. Next, place the cheese on the rack. Depending on the type of cheese, you may need to adjust the distance from the pellets. For example, if you are smoking a soft cheese like a Stilton, as I am here, you should place it the furthest away from the pellets to prevent melting. Then, close the lid and set the timer for 45 minutes. This will allow the cheese to absorb the smoke and develop flavor and color. It has been 45 minutes since I started smoking, and I am now checking the temperature of the Ninja wood fire and the griddle plate. Although there has been a slight increase in the internal temperature, it is still within the expected range and well below when the cheese could start melting. To ensure an even smoky flavor and color on your cheese, use your fingers or a pair of tongs to gently flip it over and expose the other side to the smoke. Be careful not to drop or damage the cheese while flipping it. The surface of the cheese may be slightly oily at this point. Our wood pellets have been burning steadily for an hour and 20 minutes, imparting their flavor to the cheese. The smoking process is complete, and the food is ready to be removed from the Ninja wood fire. Just a quick look at our wood pellets, they are burnt through. So, one hopper of wood pellets will last approximately 1 hour and 20 minutes. You can, of course, add more pellets to extend the smoking time. Let the cheese cool down, and to prevent it from becoming soggy or greasy, transfer it to a wire rack when it comes out of the Ninja wood fire. Use a paper towel to gently blot any excess oil on the surface of the cheese. This will help to preserve its texture and flavor. The next step is to prepare two durable storage bags that can be sealed to protect our cheese. Use these bags to refrigerate your smoked cheese. Label each bag with the day's date using a permanent marker and other relevant information. This will help you keep track of the cheese and avoid any confusion later. The purpose of this step is to ensure that the polythene bags are suitable for storing our cheese and that they are correctly labeled. This will prevent any contamination or mix-up and make it easier to identify them later. If you want your cheese to last longer, make sure you wrap it up nice and tight and squeeze out any extra air. That way, your cheese will stay yummy and fresh for longer. This piece of cheddar was smoked two weeks ago and refrigerated precisely as described in this video. It has a mature, smoky texture, enhancing its color and flavor. It has a rich, smoky hue and a well-balanced smoky taste that complements its creamy texture. After maturing my smoked cheese for a couple of weeks, I've already tried some, and I thought you'd like to see the results. This is a nice tasty piece of smoked cheddar, even if I do say so myself. It tastes as good as it looks. It was originally a cheap piece of cheddar from a uh, supermarket. I smoked it. It's been in the fridge. I've had one or two pieces, as you can gather, but it really is absolutely delicious. 
Wow. Absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to the um, uh, the cheese we smoked today, especially the Stilton. There's nothing like smoked Stilton. A week to ten days, and today's cheese will be ready. The smoke has penetrated all the way through the cheese. Can't leave this little bit behind. So, if you liked this video and made it this far, please give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please show your support by liking and subscribing to the channel. I would love to hear your feedback and suggestions in the comments below for future videos. It will help me grow this channel and reach more people. I appreciate your time. Thank you.